What's going on guys, it's Robert Welkner here of CoinOp TV and I'm joined by CJ, our social media guru and also Halo enthusiast and we're going to talk about Machinima's Prime's original show Halo 4 Forward Until Dawn Part 3 is out now and I'm going to leave a link and an annotation above, a link below in the description and CJ and I are going to little, give a little bit of a wrap up, sort of a heads up on what we saw, what we liked, what we want to see maybe in part three. So it uh, kind of came down to like really two big things. We had kind of a, we found out why Lasky uh, fainted in the uh, the last episode. So it was, it was CJ was right. It was the cryonic, uh, reactions to the cryonic sleep there. So thumbs up if you uh, responded to that in the comments on your speculations. And then uh, then we had the kissing with him and the gal. But the big moment was sort of the the, the action with the, the, the Master Chief-ish maybe um, armor kind of going on and everything. So CJ, what just seen the episode? What made you really get excited this week? Well, yeah, like you said, we kind of found out what was going on with Lasky at the end of that episode, that he is allergic to the, you know, the cryo, the stuff they inject you with when you go into cryo, and basically they gave him the slip that said, you know, you can leave whenever you want to, and so he was kind of trying to decide what to do with that. Meanwhile, you had uh, a Soli that was going through all these videos and finally pieced together all this footage he had been working on and showed what we know as Spartans, but what they, they really had no idea what they were looking at. And finally, on top of everything that was going on, you know, we get the invasion there at the end and they start seeing ODSTs dropping in and then at the very end you see the elite walking through and that's kind of where the episode ends. So really starting to build up a lot of things going on and this Friday should be a pretty fantastic episode, I believe. So as a Halo person, I mean, I remember the first... Uh, recap that we did chapter one you were like hey well we never got really the Halo movie so this is kind of our movie so where is your sort of like I got chills going mm -hmm. down my spine factor is it is it the characters and the story arc with the, the the prospects the young prospects or are you like oh my god I need to see more of the Spartans and what's going on with that I mean, you know, it always starts out where you kind of want to see everything you know from the game. So you want to see the Spartans, you want to see the Elites, you want to see those ODSTs dropping in. But, you know, as it kind of went along, you start getting more and more attached to these characters, and it kind of shows a story that you never get to see in the games. You might read about it in the books or things like that, but you start to see a different side of the universe. I think that's one of the biggest draws so far. And, you know, in regards to it being kind of like the movie... I'm, I think I'm more impressed now than I was initially going in because it, it has really great production values. I mean, it's not quite movie quality, but it's far above any kind of TV show that's going on right now that tries to do that kind of CG and stuff like that. So it's definitely impressed me, I think, more than I initially thought it would. Yeah, it's definitely, I'm, I'm along for the ride. I want to see what happens in the next part. Uh, do you want to take a stab at any predictions? You know, and I'm a big Walking Dead guy, and every week somebody seems to get a bullet in the head or an axe to the throat or something. Do you think they'll kill off one of these characters in the uh, Forward Unto Dawn series? Well, I mean, we kind of saw what looks like them doing that in this episode with uh, the blonde girl that was part of the squad went up in that elevator and the elevator exploded. So they kind of left that open, but... Uh, yeah, I think we'll see, we might see a couple other people get picked off in this next episode. So they released, I think they released today a preview of what's coming up. So if people haven't checked that out, they can check that out before Friday. But yeah, really, it really is starting to kind of climax here with the third or with the fourth episode that will be coming up. I think there's five total, so. Yeah, yeah, very cool. And also, um, you know, in other news, you know, they sort of announced officially the uh, Halo 4 War Games map pass, you know, something we sort of heard about. So uh, as a gamer, are you going to get on to the, for 25 bucks, you get multiple map passes, get a pass to get multiple maps coming out mm -hmm. um, throughout the next year. Is, uh, is that something to be excited about? Anything you're looking forward to there? I think so. I mean, a lot of people have, you know, positive or negative reactions to what these season passes are doing now. But the one thing I really saw about this one is they kind of laid out every everything you're going to get and when it's going to come out. So, you know, it saves you five dollars over just um, buying it straight up, buying all the packs straight up. So, and if you pre-order that limited edition of the game, you actually get that pass for free with that. So, I think it's uh, I think it's a good investment if you plan to play the multiplayer a lot, like a lot of people do. 
So better than spending 30 bucks over the course of, you know, five or six months, you can spend 25 now and get it. So not yeah. a bad deal. Yeah, good good value. Um, all right, well, that's it for this episode, guys. If you're watching this video, make sure you watch the Halo 4 Forward Unto Dawn episodes. Come back, leave a comment, let us know if you're agreeing, disagreeing, if you're vibing what uh, CJ and I are getting into in the story here. And uh, we'll see you guys next week for another recap episode. For Coin Up TV, we'll see you next time.